Tonight's dinner is really easy. I picked up these baby back pork ribs from Aldi and they are already pre-marinated with um, some sweet and savory barbecue sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this rack in my slow cooker and cook it for six hours all day while I run errands. And then I'm gonna serve it with mashed potatoes and a vegetable that I haven't figured out yet, but I will let you know. The next thing I'm going to do is cut these potatoes up into, um, I'm going to half them, half them again, cut them into, into chunks. I'm going to put them in my Instant Pot in just water for about eight minutes. And then I'll do a natural release. I'll drain the water. Then I'm going to add salt and pepper and a little bit of milk and butter and then mash them up and I'll have my mashed potato side. what the finished plates look like it smells so good in here I decided to use paper plates tonight because the dishwasher as you can hear in the background is running it's full and I do not want to wash dishes tonight so we're also having it with broccoli nice and simple tonight I am making uh, chicken wings so I have about a pound and a half of chicken wings that I bought in the store, which I trimmed, rinsed, and then patted dry. And to the chicken wings, I'm gonna be adding a teaspoon of baking powder per pound, so about a teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna season it with nature's seasonings, toss it together, put it on the baking sheet that I have over here, and put it in the oven at 350 for, three, at 350 for about 30 minutes. While that's in the oven, I'll make my sauce. I'm going to use some butter, some garlic salt, some apple cider vinegar, and some medium wing sauce. And after about 30 minutes, I'm going to flip the wings over and then put it on broil until it's crispy. When you take it out of the oven, you're just going to let it sit on the stovetop for a few minutes or else everything will get soggy. So let them sit for a few minutes and then you can coat it with the sauce.
finished plates look like. They smell delicious. I cannot wait to dig into this. I hope my daughter likes it. They're a little spicy, but she likes spicy things. So I think it's going to work out just great. And oh my God, my mouth is watering. So the next thing I'm gonna be making is a hamburger casserole that I saw on Pinterest. What I'm going to do is saute a pound of ground beef with a diced onion. And then once that's cooked, we're gonna add two cans of Campbell's tomato soup. We're gonna be seasoning the meat as we um, cook it. You can use salt and pepper. I'm gonna use this smoke infused um, rub that I found in the grocery store. Um, so once it's cooked, I'm gonna be adding cheese, the soup, some relish, and then I'm going to be adding my cooked in pasta and topping it with some more cheese. And the recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm gonna just add a little bit of panko breadcrumb so that we can have a crispy topping on top of the casserole. After everything is combined, I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Is what it looks like when it's done this was so good i'm not gonna lie and say that i wasn't skeptical because i am not a huge fan of the tomato soup on its own but added to this recipe it is delicious i highly recommend this one